Hey everybody, Ryan here. Um, I'm going to be showing you a quick tutorial on how to unload film from your 35mm Pentax Asahi K1000. I've been getting a lot of emails um, basically from people wanting to know how to unload the 35mm film because they're doing it usually improperly, improperly and it's the film is ripping while they're trying to retrieve it or rewind it and um, so I just wanted to show you guys what the proper way to do this is and the safe way and basically how to do it without exposing your film so you don't have to open it up in a dark setting and risk losing all your images so we're gonna do that now and enjoy and I hope this guy uh, this helps you out guys alright okay so this is what you're gonna do this is where a lot of people go wrong um, if you're camera doesn't come with a manual which a lot of them want because people usually buy them second hand uh, like I did mine fortunately came with a manual um, I actually didn't know this when I got mine because I was new to 35 millimeter film and I hadn't taken a 35 millimeter millimeter film out since I was probably like 9 or 10 I mean everything's gone digital and film to me it's an art form that's why I got back into it and that's why I love doing it um, I'm just playing around with some uh, dead film in this camera, so I'm going to open it up and show you guys. Um, but there's a quick release right there on the bottom of all the uh, Pentax K1000s. I'll zoom in right there. It usually has a little dot. You can see it right there on my thumb. You're going to want to press that. It's right under the, um, the right trigger right there. You're going to press that after your film is already done and you've reached your limit um, just, I'll let you see it right there you press that right there it's gonna retract up into the camera it's not gonna drop back down you're gonna open up your left spool the rewind spool flip that up and here's something you don't want to do I'm just gonna open it to show you guys how to actually how it actually works inside it's gonna open it up for you and you see this is what happens when you don't press that silver button on the bottom is the spool right here on the right side when you're trying to rewind it it gets stuck and you're grinding that film you're actually grinding that film backwards if you don't press that silver button so you're going to continue to rewind it remember keep this closed do not open it until you actually are sure that you've rewound all the film what you do is to make sure you put your ear next to this part right here and you'll actually be able to hear it and it'll also loosen up once you've reached uh, rewinding all your film you'll actually be able to you know sense when it's done so I'm just gonna rewind it and let's see if we rewind it all and you'll actually be able to hear that when it releases on the right side. So now we're just going to take out our film. We're going to open it up, take out the film, left spool, lift it all the way up. There you have it. That's how you unload a 35mm camera. I hope this helped, and if you guys have any questions at all, whether it be photography, anything at all, um, let me know. Um, I'm also going to be doing reviews on the Canon EOS Rebel XSI, the Diana F Plus 120 film, and the Sony DSCH9, which is probably my favorite. It's only an 8 millimeter camera, 8 uh, megapixel camera, but um, it's one of the first cameras I had, and it's a great camera, as well as the Canon EOS, which is a newer one. Um, great camera. This one's actually my girlfriend's. She loves it, and. Um, so I hope to see you guys soon, and let me know what you guys think, if this helped. Um, tips, tools, things, knowledge, just let me know. Um, questions, just let me know in the comments below. So, thanks for watching, guys. Take care.